All right, so everybody heard about the Carly Russell situation. This, you know, the the walking toddler that she went after, then she went missing for forty eight hours. We don't know if she was in the hotel with somebody else. She was cheating on her boyfriend, whatever. Looked like the boyfriend either broke up with her before then, or he speak out. He spoke out on the whole situation as a whole. He was like, Carly action created hurt, confusion, and dishonesty. I was made aware of this false narrative after coming to the defense of my ex, Carly Russell. Myself and my family's nature was to react in love and genuine concern. We are disgusted from the outcome of the entire situation. I strongly feel exactly like you all, blindsided with Carly's action. This is still an ongoing investigation, but with all the recent information and her confession, now we gain closure with this situation. Thank you to all my family, friends, and the nation for support for support through this. I want to always send my prayers and thanks to Miss Angela Haley, Harris, her team, and all the volunteers. Thank you again for unwavering support. The severity in this matter has not been overlooked, and I deeply respect the genuine support shared during this situation. Please continue to keep us in your prayers with love. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation in the comments down below. She lost her job. Possibly facing jail time. Lost her boyfriend. Made a mockery on the internet. Should this be the end? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. Now Carly, the fuck? What you ate? Cheese crackles. Why not debit cakes? <laughs> Bitch. And then you had me in here praying and speaking in tongues. And you know my prayer really works. All for you to fake a kidnapping, bit. You need your ass whooped. Because what? Who the fuck? Where the fuck did you the fuck go? Huh? Carly, it's like you that Illuminati need to get. Luma, get this bitch. Because what the f did you go? This ain't no fucking game, bitch. Everybody in here praying and stuff. We have just learned that Migos rapper Quavo was aboard this vessel, and I can tell you that it was a rather large scene. Multiple agencies responding to this possible armed robbery, FWC, along with Miami-Dade police. So, it's been reported that Quavo allegedly was on yacht that was allegedly robbed. Um, they said the owner was held at gunpoint. If you look at this picture here, you'll see it looks like Quavo was actually tied in handcuffs or at least rope tied while all these was going on, while all this was going on. So we're not quite sure what his role is and why he's actually in rope ties, but. City of Miami and Miami Beach Police. This, of course, after we heard reports uh, that uh, the owner of that vessel was held at gunpoint, allegedly. Later capturing one person in police custody with their hands zip tied behind their back. Later, they were released and that person, along with several other men and women, got into black SUVs. They did say that he was released after this video surfaced of him being tied up or detained for the moment. I guess until the police figured everything got. But Quavo did actually jump on live. And he pretty much gave you the thumbs up, made a post, said, I'm okay. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation in the comments down below. Once again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. My